morning everyone it is saturday we are actually on our way to my mom's house it's a three-day weekend tomorrow is the fourth of july i'm off on monday and savannah got an impossible breakfast sandwich from starbucks i just went to starbucks but i pulled over to the side because i got iced coffee and i asked for heavy cream but it looks like soda so it's not allowed to take it back i guess because of covid so she gave me the heavy cream in a separate container so i pulled over so i can fix it but i'm gonna have to pour some coffee out because it won't go Ooh. in Whoa. i feel like i'm wasting my money lock the doors don't want nobody to come get me and then there's just heavy cream in here I was gonna show them. See, look how it blended up. Y'all know what I mean. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> what are you doing? Where's those cups? Who cups? Oh, you can put it in here. That way. Smart. Yeah. Cause I smart, I kind. Now let's taste it. You oh. Can you taste this? No. Heavy cream? Oh, okay. Sorry. I always forget certain things. Like when we go in stores and I see grass fed meat, all I think is grass fed. Grass fed cows, you mean? Grass fed <laughs> cows. When I see grass fed cows on a meat product, I'm like, oh, Savannah, this is vegan. And she's like, mom, no, it's not. This build that's better than that. Oh. Mm, it's actually good. And Savannah got her green tea matcha. Her usual. Oh, tastes so much better than. That's really good. And I just got the meat and cheese platter. But it's every time. we are just gonna go, y'all. So, all right. See y'all on the road. So we made it to my mom's and Savannah Googled ways to break in your Doc Martens. Remember when she got this for her birthday? She has worn them, but not often. But yeah, she's and banging. I want to wear them tomorrow, so. Yeah, she wants to wear them tomorrow. And I run out of time, so. I yeah. <laughs> she said it's helping. And also she's been using the hair dryer to heat up the leather. So she said it's working. If you guys have Doc Martens, or your kids have Doc Martens. What have you done to? Stuff them too. Yeah, she stuffed them. What have you done to make them not hurt your feet? Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, July 4th. Happy 4th of July. Um, but when you're seeing this, it'll probably be the 5th or 6th of July or something like that, as y'all know. Anyway, so I'm at my mom's house, as you guys can see, and this decision was made at the spur of the moment. Cause I know the last video you guys seen my mom was she was at my house and she came because there was something she needed to do and then I don't know we just decided to come back with her I mean not with her in the same car I drove my car but yeah I'm off on Monday which is tomorrow so we'll go home tomorrow actually but I decided to spend the weekend here and today you guys I said it was Sunday yes but we may or may not be going to Universal Studios again. We may or may not have season passes for Universal Studios. So yeah, we're doing that today and I'm just getting ready right now. And then we're gonna head out. We made it. We're at City Walk though. 
Alright, so we have made it in, but not in the front gates. Savannah's gonna take a picture of the ball. And then we'll head in. So we've made it in. It's just Savannah and I today. And we're not wearing our masks. We don't have to. I'm a little apprehensive, but I do have it with me. It so it's really hot. It's really hot right now, but we'll be okay. So we're going on studio tour first. And look at the city. I love it, LA, you guys. Don't want to live here, but y'all know I love it. One of our premier locations still on the lot on the left. That is the original clock tower from these films. Oh yeah, I mean, over the years though, this no. area has been featured in so many films. I mean, it goes back to things like To Kill a Mockingbird. The first ever Twilight Zone episode shot here in what we call Courthouse Square. I just want to be up in volume. You can see it there in a couple different things, but a lot of people remember. And here's Jimmy to give you a little demonstration of how we use it. Hey everyone, welcome to New York! I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. What's got mugged over there? An old woman. Tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey buddy, how's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> Just like old times. Gotta love New York City. Hey, I'm walking here! Picture cars can be a lot more than just the transportation for the characters. They can become their own character. Uh, they can also really help us tell the time period of a project. That's especially true in things like Back to the Future, as well as the Flintstones. Creating the Stone Age with some of these fun vehicles, made mostly of foam rubber and fiberglass, by the way. Fast and Furious, of course, those movies center around several of the picture cars from that film. Are those film sessions? Jurassic Park has a couple of vehicles out in the lineup here. Really fun one from Jurassic World is the gyrosphere. No real glass ball was ever put around that. It was all put in digitally in post production. Some Transformers vehicles left from the first one that shot on our New York streets. The tank here at the end is made mostly of wood, actually, not metal. It again is a stunt vehicle. On your screens is another practical car we created for a movie called Serenity, and it was made mostly of wood and plastic. That way it was lighter weight so we could fly it around like that. We had it on a gimbal that stuck out this room with us in things like Three Amigos with Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short. Used for things like Nacho Libre with Jack Black. Episodes of Shameless, The O.C. with Adam Trace, E.R. all shot out here. Oh, look at this nice little rainfall going on right now in Old Mexico. <laughs> now we have to use pretty big drops of water in order to get it to show up on camera. It can get a little complicated when you shoot these things. Obviously everything gets pretty messy. You want to do it all in one take. You got to protect your electrical equipment. You have to think about all those things. And you try and just have the rain happening where the cameras are in, obviously. So for a close up, you may just rip it off the roof. Uh oh, watch out. Head right for the turn. Looks like here it is on camera in a movie called Big Fat Liar. What we call Six Points, Texas. Uh, basically, we used to have six different little western towns here on the lot, but they've all kind of shrunk into this one street. However, this street works beautifully for Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, featuring Leo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. A lot of sequences were shot out here in Six Points. Uh, it looks great as the set of Lancer for that film. Here it is on your screens in the little. It's always actually set up to look like a subway station and. You see it 
several episodes. It's been featured in Rutherford Falls on Peacock uh, over the years. Good Girls, Agent Carter has used this, uh, AP Bio. So films and TV shows love this. Commercials really love this street as well. It just it has this nice kind of suburban feel. Originally, we built this in the mid-1980s. We were working on a movie called The Burbs with Tom Hanks. And uh, this neighborhood basically got put together oh, for that film. We used to have a small no, town set built here at the end of the street oh. for the sixth nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy's Dead, the final nightmare of this place, a small town. They kept getting stuck in over and over again. They were driving around this circle here. Buffy the Vampire's. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around a vision of Steve. We sit down to sit down and talk about the world. Yes, that thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. Keep your eyes on me. Close your eyes, okay? Stand closed. Now we're going to go on the Simpsons ride. Hopefully, the 60 minutes. 60 minutes? You want to do it now or wait? Huh? No? What do you want to do? It's up to you. Really? We stopped to eat. I didn't get anything but a power aid, and I'm eating Savannah's fries, but she found a Beyond Meat burger, so that's what she's eating. And here she is. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, thank you. I welcome to Universal's Animal Actors Show. I am not Jasmine Rosales. This is my best friend, Captain. Captain and I both work for a company that's been training animals for film and television for over 40 years. What you may not know is many of your favorite animal stars are rescues. And just like Captain, they got their start right here on this stage in front of a live audience. Thank you. 
to the vlog today. Say hi. Hi. We're in, I don't know what store we're in, but I, want, I don't want to get copyrighted because of the music that's playing, but it's been a long day. My feet hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 